Good day, viewers. I am Ambassador Tosis and this is special advisor to the President of Airports Youth Council on Education Matters. Welcome you to our one and only platform, the ECOWAS Youth Council Leadership Series. It's a platform where we bring leaders, business influencers to come talk to you and encourage the young people. But before I introduce my guests, I'd like to go on a short break. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. I remain Ambassador to Sister Lucy. Here with me, we have one of our business influencers leaders, and I would please like him to introduce himself. Hey, hi, I am Puneet Badlani from Chorus India Limited. I am the International Marketing Head of Africa and CI region. Puneet, nice having you here on stage. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, just um, how many years have you been moving around African countries? It's been now more than 16 years. I was, I've been moving around in Africa. 16 years? Yeah, more than 16 years now. Wow. Um, so what's, what's your view about Africa? Africa is having a very lot of potentiality, you know. And what I was looking around here and there is that regarding the people should focus on the standard of life instead of standard of living. Mm. The people here are more focusing on standard of living instead of standard of life. In no circumstances, the people should not compromise their happiness. Mm. Happiness is a virtue, is a quality inbuilt inside. What we see, if we, no doubt, you can wear a good watches, ride a good car, drive a good car, no problem. But in no circumstances, don't compromise with the happiness day to day. Give your time to educate your thoughts, to educate your thoughts. People nowadays are going in stress, in depression. They should understand what is a depression and stress. There is, the thoughts cannot be stopped, but they have to replace from the positive thoughts. The thoughts should be replaced by, from negative to positive thoughts. Increase the standard of life by, a, by embodying the virtuous quality inside. Oh, thank you. That's a very great one. But moving around West African country because of the, my post and because of my job, mm -hmm. I've met different kind of young people some is because they don't even have anything to eat what 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 do you have to talk to the young people about the young what about a young man who wakes up in the morning you're talking about happiness to him he doesn't have anything to eat he's thinking about his house he's thinking about this bill he's thinking about so many things on his head so what do you have to say to the young man who is worried about his no man needs see destination should not be happiness destination should not be happiness while going in the destination you should be happy suppose if that young guy will get a house is he will be happy after getting your house that means after getting the house he will be again going in depression suppose he get a car again he can go in a depression to achieve that that success the journey should be in happiness the journey should be in happiness for example i will tell you one thing how? How these young people, we should tell them that after say after four years, where they want to see. Suppose someone will tell they want to become a doctor, somebody will tell they want to become a lawyer. So there will be a challenges in their own field. How they have to cope up with that field, in that field, in their own field. How they will like to cope up. Suppose they will say what we can ask him them what is disturbing them most maybe say they will say small small thing my mommy is not bringing a phone mobile phone for me or oh, i have a lot of work to do i am working morning and this this that and that so you should educate them how they can keep leaving their weaknesses they should understand their weaknesses and they can transform their weaknesses in their strength the weaknesses will be transformed in the strength in the coming time of so so far so good moving around Afri african countries ECOWAS countries yeah. how many people young people your business have stored your life how many people of you employed because one we have a lot of young people out there looking for job a lot of young people even because of the job unemployment thing they are depressed yes so how many people have you touched their life with your company 
uh, see uh, we are based in india but we are working with the locals uh, locals and somebody in from the foreign countries so they have engaged many people in their own com companies but what happens once we engage them they will work for 2 3 4 months and then suddenly they will be carried away by the other friends oh it, you are working this is and they will be carried away and they will not understand hard work is having no replacement they have to understand one word hard work is having no replacement the word hard work is having no replacement the door of success will be open only with the hard work there is no shortcuts the people here are thinking of doing some shortcut works and, be, and going towards the success no it is not possible hard work is the key to success and there is no replacement of hard work so on this note what would you like to leave to the young people what's your advice for the young people towards hard work what's your advice to the echoers young people what's your advice to the viewers out there to the youth people i would like to tell to educate their thinking you think before you act you think before you act think twice thrice before you act whether i am doing a good deeds or whether i am doing a bad deeds don't be get affected by the circumstances don't be get influenced by the circumstances around you you built one aim and objective and be in that same track whatsoever don't change your track keep moving ahead 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 and finally you will success in that field thank you very much thank you so much